Hi, I'm Eve and I've spent the past eight weeks investigating what makes pea plants resistant to root rot at the John Innes Centre in Norwich. I investigated two of these pathogens called Fusarium solani and Fusarium oxysporum, which cause rotting and warting respectively. These pathogens are part of the root rot complex as they are often found together. Aside from the two pathogens I just mentioned, Aphanomyces is an oomycete, which is also part of this complex. The main symptoms of root rot are wilting, stunted growth, dark lesions and reduced lateral root formation, which overall reduces plant health and yields by up to 60%. This is important as peas fix nitrogen from the atmosphere and they're also high in protein, causing particular interest with the rise of meat alternatives. The Aurora Lab at the John Innes Centre had previously identified a land race which confers partial resistance to Fusarium solani. Here is the susceptible cultivar from the John Innes Centre and here is the partially resistant land race. We grew crosses of these two lines, firstly on agar, which is what I am pouring here, and then we grew them in vermiculite. And these seeds were sterilised and germinated separately and then I planted them up into tubes. After that, I inoculated them with spores, or if there were controls, just with water, and then we let them grow to see how their symptoms developed. We had at least six replicates of each of the 150 lines, and we washed each plant, took pictures of them, and scored them from one to five, depending on the severity of the symptoms they exhibited. These scores were then used in our QTL mapping analysis, we got some really exciting results from this screen and found the region of the genome which could contain genes which could cause this partial resistance and it would be really interesting to find out where functions. I applied to this project because I really enjoyed the plant science lectures I had at university and also I think plant pathology has the potential to solve many of the challenges facing society today such as feeding a growing population in a more sustainable manner. Overall, I learned a lot from this experience and really enjoyed the hands-on approach I had in the lab. Many thanks to my supervisor Nicholas and for Dr Sanu Aurora for hosting me in her lab. Also thank you to the BSPP for funding me. I definitely want to pursue a master's or a PhD, potentially in plant science, but this experience has given me the skills required to apply to over and both.